Greetings, Fairfax family. I hope you're doing well today. As I was filling out my responses for the census, I was thinking about what it means to be counted. In terms of the census, it helps out with our local roads, with our schools, with public services, and in political representation. It helps out in defining how many seats we get and how our representation is in all different types of political levels. But also, uh, I was thinking about what it means to be counted as a child of God and all the many wonderful things that go along with that. I think without being a child of God, I wouldn't know most of you and, and how sad would that be? Um, I was also thinking about being counted as a child of God means that I can call on God and tell him the things that are happening that are great in my life, the things that are happening that are not so great, but I can share all of that with him no matter what time of the day or night. And I can really get to understand, or start to understand anyway, what it means to have the peace that passes all understanding and to have a joy unlike anything else. I was reading in Romans 12, 4 and 5 today, and it focuses on being, um, talking about being counted as one body in Christ. And it says, for as in one body we have many members, and the members do not all have the same functions. So we, though many, are one body in Christ and individually members one of another. And so how amazing it is, or how amazing is it that we can be counted as uh, a member of the body of Christ? Think on that today. Think on how uh, that affects you and see how God talks to you uh, in knowing and believing that truth. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I can't wait to see you soon in person.